Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, we're gonna answer several different questions revolving around spiders. So one of the most common ones we get are, are spiders poisonous? You know, is this a spider bite? And then also, are daddy long legs poisonous? So today's video, we're gonna answer those different questions. So the first thing to really keep in mind is that we get a lot of times is, you know, is this a spider bite or is this a bug bite or what bug bit me? And again, as a pest control service, we can't really answer that. You know, for the most part, bug bites are not really bug bites. Or again, what you think are bug bites aren't really bug bites. And there's a lot of varieties of things that it could be. It could be a skin infection, you know, like an ingrown hair or rash. And in some extreme cases, it could even be cancer. But again, you know, overall, it's really impossible almost to tell what specific bug bit you or even if it was a bug, you know, pest control service really isn't going to be able to determine that by a bite alone. And again, if you're experiencing issues that you think are bug bites or again, like I said, in many cases, it's not a bug bite. So we really recommend reaching out to a medical professional, going to the doctor, getting that checked out. Now, of course, if you are seeing bugs all over your house or you suspect that you do have pest issues, a pest control service can certainly help with that. But identifying what bug bit you or is this a bug bite, most cases, we're not able to do that as a pest control service. Now, when it comes to spiders in general, you know, a common question that we get are, are spiders poisonous? And again, most of the time when you see a spider bite or a spider, or again, something that you think that is, a lot of times they're not poisonous necessarily to humans. And again, that's really where this question comes into play is when most people ask, are spiders poisonous? They're really asking, you know, are spiders poisonous to humans? And in most cases, a lot of the spiders that are poisonous aren't really poisonous to human, where in reality, a lot of spiders do have venom, they are poisonous, but again, it's only poisonous to their prey, where again, it's on a, such a smaller scale, they're eating other insects, other pests. When it comes to humans, you know, spiders rarely bite humans to begin with whatsoever. And then again, if they did, their poison isn't strong enough to really affect humans in most cases. And then at the same time, a lot of the time, spiders can't even bite humans. You know, the fangs that they do have are so small and so weak that they can't even penetrate human skin. So even if they were to attempt to bite humans, it wouldn't really do anything because they couldn't get through. Now, when it comes to daddy long leg spiders, you know, are daddy long legs poisonous? Are they not? Uh, there's a couple factors that come into that. You know, one is there's actually three different types of insects that fall into that category of daddy long legs, where it's not actually the same one all the time that most people are talking about. So the three common insects that are considered that daddy long legs, you know, clarification um, is the harvestman, um, crane flies, and then also fulcid house spider. Now, two of those aren't even poisonous. They don't even have fangs. So those definitely aren't poisonous for sure. And that would be the harvestman and then the crane fly. The most common one that people think of when they hear, you know, are daddy long legs poisonous, that's going to be the fulcid house spider. Now, rumors have been going around that since its legs are so long, it can't actually reach down and be able to bite a human or that their fangs are too small and but if it did bite a human it'd be the most poisonous spider in the world and be fatal and they actually disproved this right they proved that this was a myth they actually the myth busters got involved on this one right and it for a long time what happened is scientists just didn't even believe that the fangs were strong enough or they could reach the humans that they didn't even bother doing studies on this daddy long leg spider to even see if they're poisonous because they didn't even think they'd have the ability to even bite humans. Now, the Mythbusters, they kind of went over the top and were trying to actually get bitten, you know, doing whatever they could to be bit by these daddy long leg spiders. And, you know, one of the hosts, Adam Savage, did get bit. But again, he described it as kind of just a mild burning sensation that, that ra went away rather quickly. So this kind of falls into the category of, you know, if you are actually bitten by a daddy long leg spiders, sure, they have venom, but the poison is so weak compared to humans that you barely even notice it. And again, these spiders rarely bite to begin with. 
But where a lot of the confusion comes in or why daddy long leg spiders are often thought to be poisonous or some of the most dangerous spiders in the world if they actually did bite you is because a lot of the times they feed off of very poisonous spiders. So one of their favorite meals is going to be the redback spider. That's really a member of the black widow family, which again is one of the most poisonous spiders in the world and dangerous. So again, a lot of times people associate that, well, you know, if this daddy long leg spider is going to be eating these redback spiders, they must be super poisonous as well. But again, overall, that stuff's not the case. Another common reason why people think daddy long leg spiders are, uh, again, poisonous is the fact that their fang structure is very similar to the brown recluse spider, which is another one of the most poisonous spiders in the world. But again, just because it has a similar structure doesn't mean necessarily that it is one of the most poisonous spiders in the world. So again, hopefully you got some clarification on this, you know, myth busted, I guess, as they'd say on myth busters over there. But again, when it comes to spiders in general, number one, they rarely bite humans to begin with. And then number two, most of the time, if they actually did bite a human, their venom is going to be so weak that it wouldn't actually cause any harm or just be a mild irritation on the human scale. But again, these powerful predators are poisonous, they're venomous, they can be dangerous, but again, it's to their prey, right? It's on such a smaller scale, they're tiny insects that they're eating and dealing with. So yeah, they're, they have venom, they're poisonous to those, you know, their prey, the things they're feeding off of, but when you scale it up to such a large size and, you know, a, a prey <laughs> that, that would be humans, right? It's really ineffective and they rarely bite us and, it, you know, it's not something that you really need to worry about. So again, Daddy long leg spiders, not poisonous, you know, when it comes to humans, not anything dangerous that you need to worry about. So again, they're not the most poisonous spider in the world or something that's going to kill you in your sleep or anything like that. So nothing to worry about on that end. So hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then if you do have pest issues, spiders or anything else, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com and you know set up a service with us. But if you do also happen to be a first time customer with us, you can head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there for $50 off your first service with us. So again, whether you have specific pest issues that you need taken care of or you want to set up just a general prevention program, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And if you're a first time customer, go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.